there seems to be some confliction, some doubt, some concern, some questions about Ric Flair and his status. It was reported, and this is fact, that Ric Flair has signed a new deal with WWE. However, there was also a report that went out, not on Twitter, on the dirt sheets in the websites, DWN, WNW, other sources, other outlets, that Ric Flair was in poor health, that Triple H was concerned about Ric Flair's partying habits because Ric Flair was doing more drinking, more partying, and acting like he was in his 20s and 30s and 40s again. So there was a lot of worry about Ric Flair. Now there seems to be a lot of confliction and head scratching and um, you know eyes rolling as to why WWE would sign Ric Flair to a new contract under those conditions. So here on showing to you, not only do I give you the latest and greatest in breaking news in WWE every single day, multiple times a day, I work around the clock. While Ric Flair has signed a new deal, the update to the situation is it seems like he's not dying, he's not on his deathbed, but there is worry, there is certainly concern, but there's also confliction, there's head scratching, there are people that are turning their heads as to why they would do this knowing that Ric Flair needs help, that Ric Flair needs to seek some kind of treatment because we know that the WWE has policies, we know that the WWE has rules and they have regulations. So that is why there is a lot of doubt and a lot of question marks on this report right now. I, for one, did not make this up. There's a lot of people that are under the assumption that I make up rumors and news and headlines. I did not and I would not be that sick to make up a report that Ric Flair was in grave health or in poor condition or that Ric Flair wasn't doing well. We saw Rick on Raw. He looked to be doing fine. He looked to be in good spirits. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ric Flair signs a new deal with WWE. He's going to be involved in the Divas storyline. However, he is also dealing with a drinking habit, much like Jake Roberts and Scott Hall. So this is something that is a developing story. There is more bits and pieces that are going to come out here on this channel. I give you the updated, most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in WWE news history. Nobody works around the clock like me. Nobody. Nobody. And I mean nobody. I, I get no sleep. I, I literally stay here, right here, to give you the news. And like I said, we can't afford to lose any more people, any more superstars. I'm glad that Ric Flair is back. I'm glad that Ric Flair signed a new deal. But as soon as I read that report on Ric Flair signing a new deal, a new WWE contract, the report then went out that Ric Flair was dealing with health issues, health conditions, uh, with the drinking habits, uh, alcoholism. All these different reports were coming out. I never said he died. I never said I hope he dies. I never said any of those crucial, horrible, outrageous things. Okay? I'm not that sick. I don't have a black heart. And no, I'm not against blacks. Which is also ridiculous when people call me a racist. That's that's absolutely unbelievable. Unreal. But... Ladies and gentlemen, that is the latest on Ric Flair. There is a lot of confliction. There is a lot of confusion about why WWE would sign. And Triple H had a big part in this. But Triple H is also the one that is the most worried about Ric Flair's health and wanted to speak to him. But Ric Flair has declined treatment. Now, once again, this is a story that is developing and a story that I will stay on top of for the viewers and the subscribers. So that is where we are at right now. It's crucial to the growth of this channel and the development to comment, share, hit that bell below, and subscribe right now to the undisputed number one source for all WWE news around the clock for you. Subscribe. And yes, I am very worried about Ric Flair knowing just how hard this guy parties. Just knowing how... Uh, you know, unstable he can get when he drinks and, you know, knowing just, uh, you know, the mindset of Ric Flair when he starts drinking. But at his age, at his age and taking those chances, it's just not worth it. Subscribe.